Taurus, welcome to Majestic Notion. Um, this is going to be for March 13th through April 15th. You can have your Sun in Taurus, your birth time, or Venus, Sun, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, Sun, Venus, Jupiter, okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I don't know why I'm tripping up on that, okay. But yes, you can have Taurus anywhere in your chart um, in those placements, okay. Now, um, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions, and also your donations. I really do appreciate it for those who reached out. Thank you so much. Um, lots of blessings to you guys for that, and lots of positive energy returned for that. I thank you. Um, now, Taurus, this is going to resonate either for you or the person in question. Also, I pick up on karmic situations that either this person or yourself is in and I also pick up on soulmate energies and sometimes I pick up on random messages okay I am open to whatever spirit is wanting to present here and that's what I interpret to you now if a twin flame situation happens to come up on my uh, you know in this reading obviously being in that twin flame journey if you're a divine masculine or divine feminine you understand that you embody both energies so if i happen to you know bring out the empress and i say ladies da 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 just flip it how it resonates okay there's no need to get in the comments and try to point out what's not being said if you already know that you embody either one of those energies that's why i always say flip it how it resonates for you so if you're masculine and you identify more with the empress energy just flip it how it resonates you know uh, people just like to get in the comments and I think just some people just talk because they just have to say something you know it, it, it's unnecessary really um, and it just it lets me know that maybe your vibration is it isn't where it should be so just you know if you want perfection um, make your own channel you know but don't tell me how to run my own channel okay so sorry for those of you who don't do this <laughs> but sometimes you gotta address some people because they just you know that they, they think this is Burger King you have it your way or I don't know what but this ain't that kind of channel okay I'm gonna do it how I feel comfortable and again, it's a general reading. I don't know why you guys keep personalizing things. You either resonate with some, all of it, part of it, or you don't at all. Okay? It's not for everybody. You always got to take that deep breath and check yourself when you find yourself being triggered or you find yourself, oh, whoa, whoa, that, that's not happening to me. Remember, the world is watching, not just you. All right? That's for people who get in there feelings and in their head about things and want everything to be perfect trust me there are bigger fish to fry out there than getting all wound up over a reading especially now okay with everything that's going on in the world now, I'm not gonna get into that okay alright now I will be using several decks today here Taurus I will be starting with the Oracle Goddess Angels by Dorian Virtue we're only gonna pick one card from here to kind of set the tone for the reading and what's going on in your life at this second, at this time. And then we're going to go into the Illuminati deck. Okay. Then we're going to use the Kipper deck. It's a fortune telling deck. And then we are going into the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. And of course, my deck is finally live. It's called Manifest. It's the Magician series. All right. And there will be a link in the description for those who are interested. And for those who have not heard about my deck, I did a separate video on that. You can go to my channel to check that out as well. Now, without further ado, Taurus, um, I'm skipping the intuitive part at this time with this, these readings. So we're just going to jump right in, okay? And let's see if I can shed any light into your situation, okay? All right, my guides, this is for the sign of... Taurus. What is currently going on with Taurus? 
What advice do they need? This is an oracle message. And the strength of the reading of what is going on no matter what. Alright, let's cut the deck for Taurus. Okay. And let's see what's going on, Taurus. Peace. Irene. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Okay? So that, no matter what you're going through at this time, Spirit is saying there is no need to worry. You know, as everything is working out beautifully. So whatever you're going through, any doubts, any fears you have, um, you are this person, of course. Flip it how it resonates. Um, there is no need to worry, okay? Things will work out in the end, all right? So you could be going through a transitional phase, through a metamorphosis stage. Um, you know, you have that Eight of Swords energy. You could be worrying quite a bit about, you know, either leaving someone behind or entering this new chapter in your life. It could be someone you you want to get to know. You have a lot of worries when it comes to this transition. So I do feel like there is some growth going on here. Um, <laughs> not there, okay? Let's keep it clean today. <laughs> in your in your life, emotionally, spiritually, you know, mentally, okay? Now, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. So, Coventina, purification. It's time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. <laughs> just kind of what I was just saying, right? So, to me, this is telling me if there's anybody that is toxic around you, someone that makes you question everything, someone that puts doubt as to should I or shouldn't I or keep going in this situation, if there's any energies around you that are, you know, any energy vampires, any codependent issues or or relationships. What Spirit is saying here is that it's time to shed this skin. It's time to let these things go and not to worry because you're entering a new phase where you're not going to have this energy. If you're in a constant state of overthinking, you know, overthinking is good to an extent unless you're obsessed with it. If you're in a constant state of overthinking and it has to do with a situation you are in, that means that situation is no longer serving you and you have to find a way to let it go. Okay? That's what I'm getting there. All right? But we're going to get into the situation and clarify it. All right? Let's start with the Illuminati deck and illuminate your situation, Taurus. Let's see. Four shuffles, my guys, for the sign of Taurus. One more shuffle. Thank you. All right. And let's cut the deck. Let's see, you want to cut it? All right. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Two of Wands, yep. <laughs> well, we're definitely in the crossroads. Looking into your future, into something new. You could be looking to move somewhere else as well. Okay, but you definitely have something else in mind. You have one foot in and one foot out. You're definitely closing out a cycle here with someone or just your life cycle as it stands. There's definitely change in the air. Absolutely. Okay, that's fire energy. Um, let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles. You want to plant new seeds because your old crop is not working for you. Maybe you've had a lot of unexpected, um, you know, unexpected uh, things that grew, and maybe you grew more weeds than you did then you bared fruit, right? But I'm, I'm feeling like you're looking towards somewhere where there is not only just, you know, seeds, but there's, it's the earth, right? It's earth, water, wind, and fire. 
you have all the elements to start a new chapter is what I'm saying here okay so perhaps you want to plant new seeds okay whatever this decision is I feel like it's a new cycle that you're in that you're going into and it has to do with a whole new world here so let's talk about this let's keep going yeah the high priestess so you definitely have some secrets here to reveal to whoever you're with now if you're with someone you or the other person flip it out it resonates for you or to a new person that perhaps you're watching from a distance here right we gotta see but the high priestess is highly knowledgeable this is Pisces energy um, if you notice there's uh, initials here it could be um, a sign for somebody out there we have B and J <laughs> again I don't know why I keep getting this energy about below the belt somebody out there nasty <laughs> we're not talking about that kind of BJ okay <laughs> but um, you know the high priestess is the mediator between light and dark energies okay this the yin and yang kind of energy there's knowledge to be had in on both sides so if you're with someone that is more of a darker energy more of a karmic energy you're learning lessons right now and you could be of light energy um, you could be an impact but you're you're working on your your balance and acquiring knowledge but this is spiritual knowledge this is internal okay so you could meditate a lot as well um, be prepared for some you could have had experiences because I feel like you're on a spiritual path so you could have had experiences um, through meditation through dreams um, some sort of revelation and not everything is being revealed to you at this time because the high priestess has secrets and you are also not revealing everything at this time okay so there is a mystery path here as well but what I'm getting here is that you do want to explore this so let's keep it going temperance okay uh, temperance to me could be a twin flame connection especially next to the high priestess a very spiritual energy but this is a balance between love and passion as well water and fire okay this is the your equilibrium so there needs to be balance here I feel but that's what you're currently could be working on all right you could be wanting to mix fluids with someone okay <laughs> A spiritual connection here there's love to give back and forth as well um, with these two cups merging so you could have experienced some merging in your in your 5d state through meditation or dreams if not expect this with your twin flame because I feel like this is a twin flame energy okay um, let's talk about the bottom of the deck princess of wands this is a very creative energy but this could also mean you wanting to express your passion your love your um, admiration for someone but this is also getting creative so perhaps you're thinking of a way to get creative here with someone that you're you know I feel like you're watching or wanting to go towards this could be a love message as well um, but let's move on and let's get into the Kipper deck that's fire energy by the way um, so my guides, let's do four shuffles for Taurus. All right, and let's see what's going on here. Three and four. All right, let's see what's going on. So two of wands courthouse so I see two contracts here and then I see the two of ones so whatever you're going through I feel it's ending it was part of a contract this could be because we have the high priestess she also has like a scroll in her hands here So I feel like before you get to this energy, because you could also be looking at someone that is highly spiritual, knowledgeable. This could be a teacher as well. But I feel like before you get to this scroll, this further information, there is a lesson here of some sort. Okay. 
Um, now you could be going to court if we're, you know, we're talking 3D level. Um, there could be some sort of settlement here as well that you're waiting on. It's took taken a long time for some of you whoever resonates with that. And you're waiting on the settlement so that you can move, physically move or move on. All right. Taurus. All right, but let's keep moving. Seven of Pentacles. You are the other person. Please flip it out. Resonates. So we have poverty here. Huh. This is the number 37, which adds up to 10. So I definitely feel like you're closing a cycle here. Okay. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. And poverty, you know, I just feel like, yes, you could be in a codependent relationship. Um, you could be the codependent person or the person that you're with is codependent. So you could feel a sense of feeling sorry or responsible for this type of energy. Okay, you are the other person. Flip it out resonates. And that could be a very big lesson for you to learn right now. That we can't, we can't fix people. They have to fix themselves. We're not here to fix people. We're here to raise our own vibration. And it's not that we're selfish. But if we're depleted, we can't move forward. If, if we have energy vampires sucking us dry, whether it's financially, emotionally, or all of the above, then we stay low vibed. We, we can't evolve. We can't move forward because it's like the ball and chain dragging you down. You know, and that's what happens when we're, when we are an empath, we want to give, right? We want to, but you eventually learn that balance that it's okay to be selfish if it means you're taking care of yourself and you're loving yourself more. Okay, because that's how you find relationships that are equal, giving and receiving. You know, it's not just you giving all the time and then feeling empty-handed or depleted later. And that's that's what I feel like you're going through right now. But there's another contract here that either you don't see or you don't fully understand just yet. But I feel like you are on a spiritual path, okay? Now, let's talk about the High Priestess. Okay, yeah. So there is someone here that you're looking at that's very mature very spiritual okay this could be a teacher a spiritual teacher okay this could be a tarot reader this could be many things who this could be the divine feminine as well this is a the 5d high priestess energy is the empress energy um, but this person has um, some knowledge here now you could have a secret crush on this person that you have yet to reveal okay or for this person let's talk about temperance occupation so I definitely feel you're working on your balance okay between the heart space um, you could be working on that 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 love and passion for yourself it, you're working on your balance for sure you have like a one foot in and one foot on the ground you know you don't want to throw yourself off um, too much. Okay, so I feel like you're working on something here. You also could want to work with this person. Um, when it comes to maybe perhaps teaching um, the spiritual, you know, from the spiritual point of view, you know, like raising people's awareness, consciousness helping people expand their consciousness especially if you are on a twin flame journey which we'll see if this is what that is but that's what I feel here um, so let's see let's look at the bottom of the deck there you go that Empress energy privileged lady 12 adds up to 3 3 is the number of the Empress so definitely you could be wanting to work with this person when it comes to something about spirituality Okay. Maybe you find this person to be very knowledgeable. You maybe you want to learn more from her. You want to be in her presence. You want to see what makes this person tick because she's she is kind of mysterious and quiet as well. I don't feel like you're speaking to this person at this time, but I feel like you're working up that. 
if you're in this this feeling like you're not good enough or feeling maybe you're working on your confidence or your finances at the moment before you go towards this person but I feel like you're dealing with someone like that this could be what's standing in the way of this forward movement but it's something you have to learn okay and like I said for some of you you're waiting on a settlement so you can move and move on and probably invest in um, some form of career new career okay uh, let's keep it moving here and let's get into the legacy of the divine tarot all right four shuffles you guys for Taurus one two Three and quarter. All right, let's split the deck for Taurus, my guys. Talk to me, my guys. Talk to me. Okay, there we go. There it is. All right, courthouse with the two of wands. Page of cups. I definitely feel like you're crushing on someone with the page of cups. You like someone. Hmm. But I have a feeling this is way more than like, okay? But perhaps maybe you don't know this person personally. Definitely there's distance here. You could live somewhere else in the world or you know she lives on the east side of North America you live on the west side of North America it could be anything or you're you're distant in the same state that could be as well um, let's talk about poverty and seven of Pentacles we had the eight of wands okay I'm hearing for some reason receiving what you need because eight is manifestations as well coming to you this is also communication so there could be a, a conversation that you want to have especially with the page of cups and the eight of wands here um, and there's also a conversation that maybe if you're in a situation like a karmic situation something that needs to be said okay but also I'm getting moving as well because you are looking at the world card here and oh boy, this car is driving me nuts. <laughs> Day. Okay, we're going to leave like that right now. Alright, let's talk about the mature woman with the high priestess. Oh, I knew it was more than like. King of Cups. So you're stepping up. There is definitely someone that you more than just like. You also admire this person. The King of Cups in this situation, you have not spoken about your feelings, but you want to. You want to go towards this person. You either want to learn from this person, but you also, I feel you have a lot of feelings for this person. Okay? And you're not just a page. You're stepping it up as the King of Cups. Eventually, that's what you're planning on. So, Taurus, let's talk about occupation and temperance. Ooh. King of Wands. Okay. King of Wands energy here. I don't feel this is you. I don't. Because we have two contracts here. Okay. So for some of you, there's two contracts here. And you're dealing with someone that is codependent. Perhaps someone you have already had a cycle with. This is a cycle that you closed. You are the other person. It could be someone you worked with. Remember when I said love and passion? We have passion and we have love. Love and passion. I see a very spiritual connection here. And I feel a very lusty connection here. Now... I'm probably the only weirdo that believes in this, but it's because I know the story of tarot 
um, as it as it was back 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 in the day, and and I, I I hate to go into this again, but because temperance is there, I feel like you encountered you could have wished for someone in your past when you were at a lower vibration, and it came in the form of um, passion. Okay, it it. It was spiritual, yes. Could have been a, a soulmate karmic lesson is what I'm feeling here. Whether it's you or this other person that you're questioning about. That's Because I'm seeing two contracts here and I'm feeling a scroll here. I'm feeling like there are things that are hidden that you don't even know about. Especially when it comes to this divine feminine. And don't get spooked. It's nothing bad. I just feel like there is another energy hanging around here and it has to do with a little bit of obsession and passion here and codependency. I, I'll be honest, I'm feeling an energy that is hovering. I spoke about spiritual or energy vampire. That's what I'm getting here. And I can't, I can't shake off that energy. So for some of you, there's someone that hovers around this energy there is a spiritual love connection here twin flame connection but there's somebody hovering that you had a also a spiritual connection with this could be somebody from your past or somebody from this divine feminine's past if you're male watching okay um, but we're gonna get into this energy um, let's talk about the page of cups Ooh, the tower Definitely there was something that was closed out here with the two of wands in the courthouse. Okay, major tower moment here. Something changed out of nowhere. It's probably why this card doesn't want to stay still. I just feel like there's going to be something shocking coming in to somebody here. Okay, Some, something you ended. I'm feeling a past energy. Uh, let's... Let's talk about the Eight of Wands here with this Poverty and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something you don't see coming with the Eight of Wands and the Moon. And there's some form of illusion when it comes to this Poverty card. I feel this is this person. There is a codependency. I'm feeling a freeloader energy here. Someone that has a lot of secrets and I kept saying that. And I feel this person wants to get to this divine feminine. You see how she is beyond these this rope and she's being protected. Okay. Very alluring. Very spiritual and knowledgeable. Okay. This person has the rite of passage. She is beyond this rope. And there's somebody here that can't get to her. But he's trying. Both of you could be trying to get to this person. But one is for all the wrong reasons, and you have genuine feelings here. But I'm feeling like, now, this could work out very differently for some of you out there. Some of you could actually be dealing with both energies. And for some of you, I'm getting two different energies, as in you're dealing with the Divine Masculine that's coming back into your life. And then some of you are dealing with someone from the past that I feel is a little bit obsessed and with you, but it's got that codependency energy, low vibrational energy. So for some of you, you manifested two things, but one was in your past, and now you're manifesting a twin flame here in your future. This this is like heavy energy, so let me um, be patient with me here, okay? Let's talk about the King of Cups. Ten of Cups, and if you're a Divine Feminine watching, um, and you're talking, you're, you're wondering about a Taurus, this is your happiness. King of Cups with the Ten of Cups is someone that is very giving, very loving, very empathic, and they see this with you, okay? If you're the Divine Masculine male Taurus energy, because we have the King of Cups, that's a male energy, um... You could actually be looking at this mature woman as your happiness, okay? Someone you want to 
make a, you know create a family with be happy with all right i just had i just have a feeling this is not that so let me talk about this king of wands here yeah nine of pentacles with the king of wands this person could have recently became single this could be somebody you either worked with you met at work or you know maybe you back because I feel this is past energy I just I just feel like someone's coming back because of the seven of Pentacles and the two of wands and the two contracts here or you could have frequent where this person worked and this is somebody you you had a connection with but I just and like I said light and dark energies with the high priestess definitely like I said there's knowledge to be had on both sides you learned a lot from whoever this is okay for those of you that are resonating with this energy I feel this person is gonna be single or is single and they are planning something in secret because we have the moon and you're gonna get a message from this person that's gonna probably create a tower moment here for you it's very unexpected okay um, let's get into the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, this was a heavy, heavy um, burden on you, this person. Ten of Wands. Okay, thirty-one, thirty-one. When I just said that. Um, <clears throat> let's get into my deck and get some clarity. My guides, um, let's shuffle four times here for Taurus. Clarify the situation. One. three and one more so definitely some of you are going to resonate with part of this and some of you will resonate with all of it okay and in different ways if you resonate with one person and not the other okay let's see what's going on here so page of cups with this tower moment Ooh, I know you are my twin flame I feel you in the core of my soul I feel your presence when I fall asleep at night uh, telepathic communication okay so definitely I feel like someone is crushing on you here And it's going to be shocking because we have a tower moment here. Let's talk about the Eight of Wands with the Moon. Oh, yeah, there's somebody here that's someone is jealous of this connection. Karmic friends, hater, karmic soulmate. You see, there was a karmic soulmate lesson here for somebody. This is somebody from your past. Um, so I feel that when whoever is dealing with both of these situations, when you meet your twin flame, because there's a twin flame here, and I feel like someone is dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame, okay? For some of you, if you're dealing with one person or the other, whoever you're dealing with that is in this fiery energy and this codependency kind of freeloader energy, you'll know your situation. This person is jealous of what you're doing or perhaps if you're dating your twin flame or going to be in a relationship with your twin flame um, or maybe you're flirting or talking to other people they're jealous but for who those of you who are dealing with because you can be dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame okay we 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 have more than one soulmate whether it's friends family relationship wise or lovers you know you could definitely be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame or both so what I see here if you're not with your twin flame right now this person could be coming back when they see you with this person okay now that's for some of you others of you this person if you're not with your twin flame I just feel like this person can't shake you for a reason. They might have found out that you're 
their soulmate because I see karmic soulmate and if they're getting tarot readings done like to find out what's going on in your life then they know that someone else is coming into your life and it's they know it's, it's like the twin flame connection they probably did some research on that but this person is low vibed okay this king of wands here this is not a high vibe king of wands I don't feel it but we'll see we, this person has a lot of secrets okay with the snake and the apple there and this poverty card I'm not liking that energy let's talk about the king of cups here before I confuse you guys yeah for the first time in my life I understand the meaning of unconditional love thank you grateful appreciation so in love with you so there's a twin flame connection here I mean we have the king of cups the ten of cups and unconditional love here someone it looks at you with such loving eyes it's absolutely beautiful absolutely I'm getting a player vibe from this person let's see yeah tantric love take me into ecstasy kundalini, ri kundalini rising mind-blowing sex drunk in love um, definitely you have love and passion energies here with this temperance but I'm just getting a low vibe from this person because we have the poverty card with this person is jealous of this connection with the moon a lot of things this person hides he's got a lot of skeletons in his closet but he has not forgotten about you he's still keeping an eye on you oh boy all right let's look at the bottom of the deck sending you lots of kisses flirting getting to know each other dating yeah so if you're dating this new person or you're about to there is someone keeping tabs on you and they might want to sabotage it by communicating oh how are you doing how are you feeling you know they could be single now or they're looking at you it's almost like they're looking at you like a wolf like like prey like you could be single right now you are these this other person and I don't know I'm not getting a good vibe <laughs> there's a very good vibe here but there's also a very bad vibe I just keep hearing wolf prey wolf but there is a twin flame here um, you'll absolutely know the difference if you're dealing with both of these situations oh boy I keep getting that song what is that song hungry like the wolf what is that song I know you guys will tell me in the comments mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm trying to remember yeah I can't that that's the only part I remember in the song right now it, it's hard to remember stuff when I'm channeling um, yeah that's all I remember hungry like the wolf anyway all right guys that's what I got for you um, wow okay you could have had a soulmate contract that is over but also I feel like you have a twin flame contract here um, it's not impossible trust me you, you dealt with a karmic soulmate um, you could have had a lot of feelings for this person very fiery energy very passionate uh, I feel you learned a lot of lessons with mature woman and the high priest is there okay so you're not gonna fall prey to this person okay you know your worth and you know what this person's all about you I feel like you already know who you dealt with so if he comes back around with this eight of wands and the moon and this tau I actually you know who's gonna shock you is your twin flame I don't think you see that coming either <laughs> so if whoever is um, questioning about the twin flame the person that truly loves you unconditionally and, and learned unconditional love by either watching you or having that encounter with you you're gonna be shocked whether you know this person or not when they finally come to you you're gonna have that tower moment like holy crap but for some of you who are dealing with this wolf here you're also gonna be shocked because I feel like you have not you're 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 in silence here 
I feel like you're not dealing with either one of these energies at the moment in your life. But energetically, they surround you very much so. All right, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you guys resonate with that. That's interesting. Okay, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember that um, in the description box, I will have the link to my new deck called Manifest. It's the Magician series. It's a compliment to the Magician and Tarot. And um, yeah, it's live. It's ready for purchase if you like the deck. And I will see you guys next month. Remember, I do general readings in between the Zodiac sign readings. So I will be doing a few of those after I post all the Zodiac signs, okay? I will see you again in April. Take care.